So this is the second part of the second trig lesson, and we're going to start taking um, those special right triangles that we talked about, and we're going to actually start applying sine, cosine, and tangent to them. So a reminder of SOHCAHTOA, again, something that you should have learned in geometry, but you know, you need a reminder, obviously. Um, SOHCAHTOA basically gives us the directions for sine, cosine, and tangent for a right triangle. So SOH, uh, stands for sine. S is opposite over hypotenuse. So the side opposite the angle divided by the hypotenuse of that triangle. Ka, C-A-H, cosine is the adjacent side, so the side next to the angle divided by the hypotenuse of the triangle. And TOA, T-O-A, tangent is the ang or side opposite the angle divided by the side adjacent to the angle. Okay, and we're actually going to apply those real quick, and it's literally just writing them as a fraction. We're going to go ahead and reduce when we can, but we're just going to go ahead and write them as a um, simplified fraction. Okay, so a real short lesson, just a couple of practice problems just to make sure you've got it. Okay, so if we're talking about, and it's very specific and very important for you to pay attention to what angle it is that they're talking about using, if I want the sine of A, then I need the side that is opposite A over the hypotenuse of the whole triangle. So that would start off as 6 over 8, and it would get reduced. Since we're talking about fractions in simplest form, it would be simplified to 3 fourths. Okay? So if I want the cosine of A, so cosine, again, being adjacent, that's the, the, the side next to the angle, right, over the same hypotenuse of that whole triangle. That's going to be 3 over 8, and that does not simplify any further. All right, if I want the tangent, and this time I'm looking at the tangent of B, tangent is opposite the side that's opposite, the side that does not touch it at all, right? Opposite over adjacent, the side that's next to the angle, attached to the angle. And that's going to be 3 over 6, which simplifies down to a half. Okay? That's all you're going to be doing for this second part of the assignment is literally just writing the fractional answers to these statements. Okay? So just pay close attention to what angle you're being asked to work with. And if you have to, um, turn the triangles around. I know sometimes it's easier when the triangle looks like this. You know, if the triangle is in, let's see, let's see if the triangle looks like this, you know, sometimes it's harder to pick out, you know, the pieces and everything, or if the triangle looks like this because they've drawn it like that. Turn the paper around until until the angle looks like it's supposed to or until it's comfortable for you to be able to figure out what it is that you're looking at. Alright, so there's angle R. So for angle R, that would be opposite, that would be adjacent, and that would be hypotenuse. Okay, so sine of R, opposite, you know, the one that doesn't touch the angle, over the hypotenuse. So that's 12 over 15. Okay, and that reduces down to 4 over 5. And it must be in simplified form, guys. That's, that's the requirement for these. All right, so if we're going to work with, cos with uh, angle S, we do that one in blue, that's hypotenuse, that doesn't change, but now this one is the adjacent and this one is the opposite. So be real careful, again, making sure you're looking at the angle you're being asked for. So the cosine, ka, C-A-H, would be adjacent over hypotenuse. And this one is also 12 over 15 because I asked for the sine of one angle and the cosine of the other, and they are the exact same angle because the sides change. All right, back to tangent for R. And again, for R, opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. 
12 over 7. And is, tangent is the only angle that's actually allowed to be bigger than 1 as far as an improper um, fraction, and you can just leave it that way. So 12 over 7 for that one. It's a very short lesson, as I stated in the last video. Um, there is an assignment in Canvas called Sokotoa, and there are several triangles in there. Just follow the directions as far as sine, cosine, tangent. Please make sure that you are simplifying your fractions. Very, very important. Okay, tomorrow's or, you know, today, depending on if you're watching this uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, the next lesson, which is unit circles, depends entirely upon this. So whether or not you chose to do this, um, the end of, of class Tuesday or the beginning of class Wednesday is on you, but by the end of class today, you will be doing the unit circle. All right, so take it easy. I will talk to you all later.